agents tell us that it really pays to keep a property well maintained. It turns out that people are no different, as I discovered at a recent event showcasing the latest in aesthetic medicine. Zaki walked into a venue with more of the ambience of a trendy cocktail lounge than a medical convention. I'm going to be frank. I don't like scalpels or stitches and I will avoid surgery at any cost. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. And that's why a lot of people are turning to aesthetic medicine and why I'm finding out what's new at the Cosmetica Congress. The event drew enthusiastic interest from across Southern Africa. And among the international speakers were Dr. Raj Aquila and Dr. Kate Goldie. It's so wonderful to have aesthetic artists with us today. What are some of the most exciting developments in aesthetic medicine? It's a very exciting time for the specialty and actually I would say that I'm kind of jealous in a way of, uh, of the patients because uh, in this day and age, because of the sophistication now that we're seeing with products and also with knowledge and the techniques that we're generating, the results have never been better. And where we're going to be in five or ten years time will be even better than that. How important is proper training for an aesthetic practitioner? Within medicine it's an emerging specialty. So it's come very fast, um, there's a lot of development, so the companies make amazing products. And then it's our job as practitioners to make the most use of them, but to use them safely. And that's The changes are happening so fast that training, train each other, training the new doctors that are coming in, is of utmost importance to make sure that we're on track. So we make sure we're on track not just for it being safe, but it's also being natural to being looking like you're actually always improving someone, you're never getting it wrong. Technology is providing exciting new alternatives to conventional techniques. Dr. Anushka Reddy is the aesthetic practitioner, as you can see by this amazing face. So the facelift, Dr. Reddy, was a thing of the 21st century, but now there are other alternatives. Can you tell us about aesthetic medicine? Absolutely. So we see more and more patients come in to have these procedures done because people do not want to undergo procedures where there is a long downtime. So, I mean, we all have busy lives. You don't want to go in for a procedure and then two weeks you're out of commission. So you want to have a procedure done that's quick, easy, in your lunchtime and then go about your normal duties. This event is aimed at practitioners, but how will patients in South Africa benefit? We have people from all over the world, Europe, the States, um, India, and uh, they teach our local doctors what, what's happening out there and we can then use this for our local patients. What have been some of the most exciting developments at this year's Congress? Well, I think our most exciting development has been the uh, introduction of threads. So we've seen this widespread worldwide use of people using threads to actually achieve a surgical-like result non-surgically. If anyone had any doubts about the procedures, experts like Dr. Kohli could produce impressive results while you watched. Dr. Melvika Kohli is an expert in dermatology and watching her work is mesmerizing. Dr. Kohli, what got you into aesthetic medicine? What got me into aesthetics is the fact that I think every woman wants to preserve her natural beauty, but doesn't know where to start from. And so it's very important to know what are the early changes of aging and how we can correct and prevent them as well. Can you tell us about the procedure you just performed? Sure. This lovely lady has a beautiful face, very well preserved, and she has good skin quality. Her tissue is really good, and uh, she's got nice texture. However, she's just got a bit of pigmentation, which is very easy to work upon and bring under control. If you notice, this tear trough, as we call it, with a little pigmentation over here, is giving a shadowed effect and it's also le led to some dropping of the cheek as a result of which it gives her a slightly tired more intense look by putting filler which we entered from here and we passed a cannula and put product delicate amounts of product over here we have been able to smoothen out that line have been able to restructure this angle and lift it as a result of which this line has disappeared, her pigmentation actually looks better and also by putting some product over here very delicately, I've improved the light reflection by expanding the skin so you can see that the quality of the skin looks much better over here than here as a result of which her dark circles have also lightened out on this side. So the whole aim is to maintain and restore the triangle of youth and to give back the face a nice 
lean, sharp look. It's really amazing what aesthetic medicine can achieve and this really has been a gathering of masters in this field without the need for stitches or scalpels.